Hey guys, and something here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're looking at the long forgotten fight of the guild boss Riz. Um, we've had a couple di different team comps. We've had some Grez running. We've had some Izold running. There's been a lot of changes to heroes with the team comp. This one, I'm gonna actually go ahead and run with Izold. I wanna see how I can do. There's two team comps I actually wanna try which is running Warwick essentially in the back to go ahead and lower the defense of Riz. We have the twins, of course, in here to supercharge the haste and the attack power, as well as Saurus and Izold with his three-piece set bonus. Remember, Izold overall, not very effective until you get his furniture. Once you have his furniture, the scaling amount, as long as he's taking damage, is just absolutely through the roof. He can do insane amount of damage when he gets the three piece furniture unfortunately when he doesn't have his furniture he doesn't do very much damage at all so even in this one we are running rose with saurus overall we'll see we're at about six billion damage here still got a couple seconds left 6.7 so 6.7 billion damage there so overall a pretty good first attempt on the boss Let's go ahead and look at our damage here, 6.7, 3.4, 3 billion, and 1.44 billion. So overall, Izold not doing that much damage. He does only have a plus 20 signature item, but like I said, we do want to try this a couple times just because a lot of times when you do the guild boss, you'll have one really, really good attempt where everything just kind of clicks, goes together, does really well. You'll have some attempts just like the Twisted Essence, where you'll do absolutely nothing or a hero will die early in the battle, resulting in a far lower damage, overall damage output than you normally see. Um, overall on this team, again, hoping, I, I've seen a lot of team comps where Izold does just a crazy amount of damage when it comes to Riz, is right on par with Saurus or a little bit ahead of Saurus. But unfortunately, with the team comp that I have here, I'm going to try Rowan, I think, instead of Rose on the next one. So we can just kind of see apples to apples, Izold versus Saurus, see who does more damage. Not 100% sure how people are just absolutely destroying with, with um, Izold with the damage that he's doing because I have him completely geared. Um, and I do have his furniture as well. 7.2 billion damage there, so definitely... Got a little bit more damage out of that one, 3.61 billion and 1.38 billion from Izold. Overall, I, I'm thinking it might have to do with Warwick. Um, so let's go ahead, we'll switch around a little gear. We're gonna go ahead and take the gear off of Rosline. Still have a lot of work to do on heroes here. We'll just go ahead and swap it on Rowan. We'll swap Rowan into this fight, see how we do with damage. Then we'll take a quick look at our team here to see if we can we can do any more damage, essentially. So the two powerhouse heroes up front, of course, Saurus and Izold, linked by the twins, that way they can share some of the power. I'm hoping maybe the ultimate ability, I know Izold's ultimate ability though is an AOE damage, which that might be the piece that we're actually missing is him ulting. Also in this battle, Saurus is the priority when it comes to the guild bosses, when it comes to most of the Twisted Essence bosses, because not only does he put out an insane amount of damage because he is not interrupted by the bosses, but in addition with the plus 30 signature item, he has the ability to heal the team, keeping Rowan, keeping the twins, keeping Warwick alive. As you can see here, we're at about 5 billion damage here. Still got a couple seconds left to push it, but I don't think we're going to break that 7.2 billion damage here. Looks like it's going to be 6.2, so just a little bit shy. So overall, Rose doing more damage than Rowan. Let's go ahead and look at the damage on this one really quick. 3.79, 1.59. So again, almost 4 billion damage from Saurus. Doing pretty good damage overall, which I definitely like to see there with the amount of damage that he's putting out. So let's just take a quick look. Here we have Rowan completely geared out, tier 2 gear. Um, we are running Saurus as well, just missing his boots, but we do have a plus 30 signature item on here. Um, Grez, we do have his gear, which we swapped between Izold. Izold wearing the same gear as Grez had right there. Um, here the twins completely geared out tier 2 uh, gear as well. 
and then looking Warwick wearing all the dimensional gear because I don't have any Mauler gear. Mauler is the faction that people kind of forgot. But here we are. This is the following day. I'm going to run a completely different team comp. I'm actually going to go with my comp running Lorzen instead of running with Isolde and Soros. I'm going to run Lorzen and I'm going to run Belinda with um, Rose to see. So my thought here is Rose can supercharge Belinda. Belinda can alt. Essentially, Soros will keep them alive. Lorzen overall will increase the damage that Belinda can do from her alts as well as Rose. I think if I had Rose up a little bit higher, um, Lorzen up a little bit higher, but I want to see overall if this team comp's going to break our 7.2 billion damage record that we have going on here. For the guild bosses, you want to make these a strong, strong priority. What I do, general rule of thumb, is every two or three days, because you're getting better gear, you're leveling up your heroes, you might be leveling up some uh, signature items. Every two or three days, I'll go ahead and run the guild boss um, to see how much damage we can do. Even here, we're at 8 billion already with this team comp. We're definitely crushing it with this team comp. 9.7. And there is 10 billion damage. Look at that. Wow, 10 billion damage. We broke 10.7 billion damage on Riz. As we continue to level these heroes up, that is first time I've ever broken 10 billion on him. But overall, to get more guild coins, to get more tier stones, to get more overall um, mythic gear, making sure that you're maximizing the damage you're doing on the boss. The, the other big thing is the gold. As you can see, the gold just absolutely racks up every single second that goes by. We rack up more and more gold. We're almost to 2 million gold at this point. As you can see right there on the top, 6.7 billion. This attempt might be a little bit better. It looks like we're, uh, we're, we're Turning it up a little, doing a little bit more damage. So we're going to break the 10. We got a couple seconds left. And there is the 10. We got seven seconds left, though. 10 points at 11. 11.2. 11.2 billion damage there. Hopefully our last attempt will be the best one yet. But 11.2 billion damage on the guild boss. Super stoked because, again, th this account, my main account, is always out of gold. Every single day I am out of gold, even buying emblems, buying the po coins, um, buying the essence, always, always out of gold. So the more damage that I can do on this boss definitely is a huge, huge priority because I need gold to, to continue the progression, to continue gaining levels. Experience and gold are kind of at the point that I'm stuck now with this team. So making a little bit more progression on the guild boss is definitely worth it. Like I had said earlier, every two or three days, just go ahead and run because you'll have stronger heroes overall when you're adding stars, when you're adding signature items. Very, very cool to see. This one, we might not break 10. I think it was 9.9 .9 there. So I think that one we were very close. Let's see. So 10, 11.3. So first attempt, 4.67 billion damage. So Belinda absolutely dominating there versus Soros. Did more damage because, of course, Rose following them. Second attempt, which was our best attempt, 5.1 and 4.1 billion damage there. Even 1.1 billion from Rose overall. And then our final attempt here, 4.5 billion, 3.78 billion. So the combination, Belindasaurus did a lot more damage than the Izold combination. Let's go ahead and just take a look at our gear. We did um, go ahead and gear up Belinda there with our tier, tier two gear. Um, Rose, we don't have a full second set of the tier two. So unfortunately she has two off pieces, still tier two, but it is not faction specific. Overall with Soros, just like you've seen a little bit ago, Soros, we do, we're missing one piece on him. We do have a signature item max out as well. I think with this team comp, we just need to continue to, um, build a couple heroes up, including Rose and Lorzen. I actually forgot gear. Now, how noob is that? To go ahead and forget gear on Lorzen, could have done probably a lot more damage with him decked out in tier two gear. But as you can see, we did forget the gear on Lorzen. I absolutely never use him. I had to drop him the resonating crystal to even use him now. And of course, the twins at a plus 20 signature item. 
are completely set there with the call. No five-star artifacts either at this time, so I'm getting closer to five-star artifacts to go ahead and increase the damage. But 11.3 billion damage on Riz was the best one that I did today. Make sure you're pushing the guild boss every chance you get to earn that guild coin. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you for watching.